We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> the paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air, and the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitz, Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mute let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ward and the Aunt Smiler. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. Second down, the side defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And this player has one point. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. <laughs> 
second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second and three. Calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Ouch! What is this? Annie's wrestling? First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Blow up the defense today. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one. to the races. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. And he 
put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> Second down and two. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the ball with the brain scrambler. Second down in a very lot. He's still moving. Crap. I have money on him biting a big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Yeah, now that has weird side effects, Briggs. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. A touchdown saving tackle. First down to seven. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and seven. remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here. They're going for a fake punt. That's riskier than sticking your hand in a blender and flipping a random switch. The defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to it. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Hunt one, hunt two, hunt three. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down and long. Hunt, hunt one, hunt two, hunt. That's a six-yard gain. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the 
offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, three. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Third down and hot. forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and eight to go. Quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Yeah, you touch it with I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? Second down in a very lot. Great run for a nine-yard gain. Third and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and never going to happen. Chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five <laughs> and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot. i ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that it wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot. And that is 
caught for a first down. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. Hot. Hot one. Hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brave Grim with a ball and didn't fall out. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Love the sound of bone snap. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the punter is warming up. You've got to catch that. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. 
They let the punt drop, and it will be downed by the defense. And it's first and ten. I guess when the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Eight. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two, eight. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Yeah. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times we have to explain it? Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's the quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. That ball was almost intercepted. <laughs> the offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sense. I took it as a... And he held on to that one for a first down. First down and three. 
he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a high school. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.